You are listening to Morning Edition, where it is nine minutes away from the nine o'clock hour. Paul Foster back with you. We've got a special feature interview and delighted to bring in a guest uh, in studio this morning. The newly formed Flat Rock Playhouse Studio 52 is fixing to take off in full flight. And the recently named Director of Education, Sue Fair, is with us. Sue, good morning and congratulations. Good morning and thank you so much. We used to cross paths just every once in a while when we worked on the same uh, college campus in the past. So we, we know Sue and uh, Sue, we're delighted about the news and, of course, very familiar with the Flat Rock Playhouse. But first of all, before we talk about Studio 52, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I actually grew up here in Western North Carolina listening to 88.7, which is my favorite radio station. <laughs> After completing high school in Hendersonville, I went into the military for some time and then headed to Florida for college. There, I graduated from Florida A&M with my undergraduate degree in theater education. And then I graduated from Florida State University with my graduate degree in theater education. I spent about 12 years working professionally in Florida before coming back here to North Carolina and working at Gardner-Webb University for the last few years. Well, Sue, let's now move into talking about Flat Rock Playhouse Studio 52. My understanding is it's a division of the uh, Vagabond School of Drama. Explain the overall purpose and its plans. Well, our focus for the future is going back to our roots. Um, we want to have some more community outreach, um, create a very high standard in instruction, and not just for children, but for all ages. And we also want to create a very strong partnership with our local schools. So you've definitely got the schools in mind, children, education, all important components of, of theater. And of course, um, the theater is such an important part of our arts. And for that to be introduced to children at, at, at any age of interest is, is important, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, officials with Flat Rock Playhouse... Uh, mentioned that uh, in one article that I read that you were certainly, they felt the right person for this position because of a combined passion for education, for the community, and for children, and of course, you being originally from, from the area. So what do you say uh, when you hear all that and in, in, as you move forward with this uh, new job? Well, I agree. Uh, my dream has been to combine my loves, which are children and teaching and the theater, so what I'm being able to do is really a dream come true. Um, I'm getting to nurture the, the young souls and to create a love of the arts, but also to, to be a part of the community that I grew up in, which I love and I am so glad to be back. So just you talk about the, the cards being in your favor, so to speak. You're originally from, from Henderson County. We've got the, this is historic landmark of a theater in our state, Flat Rock, and now you get to be associated with it with this this new venture. So uh, just uh, I know um, a lot of uh, things to look forward to. Absolutely. And this summer we have a lot of really, really interesting and fun things going on as well. Um, we have our summer classes, which are going to be running June 15th through August 7th. And we're going to be offering things like theater, musical theater, acting for the camera, film production. And at the end of each week, there'll be a showcase of the work that was produced that week. We have Saturday Snapshots, which are running from June through August. And it's a $20 mini few hour snapshot of what's happening at our theater. So joke workshops and improv and stage combat. And this is for all ages. And it's very family oriented where moms and dads can bring their kids and do workshops together. And then this year is our first year of doing music on the rock for kids. And that's going to be August 10th and 11th. And it's going to be popular songs from Disney and Nickelodeon. And it's going to be such a fun affair. We are so excited about all the new things going on at the theater. So if someone out there has got a child and they'd like to introduce them to uh, Sue Fair and Flat Rock Playhouse Studio uh, 52, um, the registration is continuing at this very hour, I assume. How could they get in touch with you folks and, and move forward? Absolutely. The best place to go is going to be our website, which is flatrockplayhouse.org. All of our class offerings and registration are on there. However, you're welcome to call at any time. And our phone number is 
3517. And if you're listening this morning and you mention the code WNCW, we will give you an extra 20% off of our summer classes. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The newly formed Flat Rock Playhouse Studio 52. And our guest is the recently named director of education for the studio, who is uh, Sue Fair. Uh, Sue, since we still got some time, when you uh, think back, and I know you went away to school when you were working in Florida but before you came back to this region, what's, what is just a, a Flat Rock Playhouse memory you might have? What is, is it about Flat Rock that inspires so, so many of us? I mean, we, we get to see great actors and actresses come that will spend their, their weeks or months, of course, uh, there while they are going through a production. But what is it for you that is just such a special connection and a love? Uh, there's just such a family connection there that everyone that you meet is so nice and so loving and caring, and they take you in and they nurture you. And from the moment that I walked back onto the rock from a child, those feelings came back to me the, that just almost like butterflies in my stomach, and it was just so magical. And I think those are the feelings that generations of people have gotten. And that's why so many people come back to work at Flat Rock Playhouse, because it is a family, and it's, it's really something wonderful. I hate to put you on the spot, but off the top of your head, uh, tell us about some of the other um, folks that contribute outside of what you're going to be doing and, and those that will work hand-in-hand uh, hand with you on a weekly basis at the new Studio 52. Who are some of the names and the people that are continuing uh, to keep Flat Rock Playhouse going strong? Lisa Bryant is our artistic director, and she is incredible. She is one of the most energetic and positive people I've ever met, and she is definitely one of the biggest reasons why I decided to come back to Flat Rock Playhouse is because I wanted to work with her. And everyone who meets her will agree that she is really, she's creating an environment that everyone wants to be a part of. Well, tell us one more time before we run out of time. We've been talking about the newly formed Flat Rock Playhouse Studio 52 that will be uh, led uh, in part by Sue Fair, the new director of education. How, again, could folks find out more about the studio and about the classes and get in touch with all of you guys? Okay, the best way to get, in, um, to get registered for our summer classes or our Saturday snapshot or even our season, our summer season is going full and that information is all on our website at flatrockplayhouse.org. But you're certainly welcome to call 828-693-3517 and mention WNCW for 20% off summer classes. Sue, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you so much. What a treat this has been. You're very welcome. That, again, is the new director of education, Sue Fair, from Flat Rock Playhouse Studio 52, our special guest this morning during Morning Edition here on WNCW.